And so as you vote, Connor, so I will do that. You ready? ready? Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Woo! I got this mask on. All right. Okay. So my topic is known as it's the modern day conflict of death penalty that we have. So with the death penalty, you're either in support of it or you're against it. And but what you need to understand before you come to the conclusion that you're going to be against it or support it is like there's a lot of racial, sexual, and political biases that go on when determining who's going to be put to death and who's going to live. So that's pretty important to learn before you can decide. Come to your own conclusion. But some people say that the death penalty supports and is consistent with the the Bill of Rights, the Human Rights Bill. And but the fact is though that it's a blatant contradiction with the fact that every person has a right to live, as it says in uh, it's an in violation of Article Three of the Human Rights because it's, it states that every person has the right to live. And in, if you've heard of Amnesty International, they have a very strict view on what the death penalty is. And they view it as the ultimate denial of human rights. It is the premeditated and cold-blooded killing of a human being by the state. This cruelly inhumane and degrading punishment is done in the name of supposed justice. So, as you may know, can tell from that statement, Amnesty International does not believe in the death penalty whatsoever. They believe it's awful. But the U.S., we still use the death penalty a lot. Yeah. And, but it's quite hypocritical of the U.S. because we condemn other nations for putting their own people, to, they're killing their own people. Like, we, we are more like political, and we do a lot more research before we kill anybody, but like, we're often compared to nations ruled by, you know, Kim Jong-il, Gaddafi, because they blatantly kill their people, and we often do, do the same. And it, the death penalty is often considered to be, to also violate the Cruel and Unusual, the Cruel and Unusual Punishment Act of the Bill of Rights, because often People are murdered in very cruel ways by the death penalty. Like the electric chair. Often it takes multiple shocks to kill people, and that's excruciatingly painful, as I can imagine. Uh, we are also behind tons of other countries and nations with their use of the death penalty. So, in Europe, they've almost completely abolished the use of the death penalty. And they, they, if we got rid of the death penalty, we would be on a much higher standard with other countries, like Europe, countries in Europe. There's 48 out of the 50 countries in Europe no longer use the death penalty, because the Council of Europe agreed to the death penalty has no place in a democratic society. And that's important, because we're also a democratic society. So, another reason why the death penalty is often considered bad as opposed to a life sentence is you can be on death row for easily 15 to 20 years because of all the appeals and legal <coughs> complications that go on with being sentenced to death. And it's not that much different from just having a life sentence except you're just in jail for an extremely long time and then you're killed. And also that has a lot of taxes involved. It's like very expensive for all the appeals and everything. Okay, so one important thing you have to remember when you think about the death penalty is, as opposed to the life sentence, is that these people have already lost their lives when they're in their life sentence. They're just not dead yet. And um, not, not very often, though, a person can be innocent when they're sentenced to death, and there's a lot of well-documented cases on people who have been innocent due to, due to like, certain biases towards the person. Like, if anybody stayed after school to watch that, uh, the Amnesty International movie on the death penalty, like, Ellie, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of cases that show lots of racial biases, like, there, this man was accused of being a homosexual because 
he met this girl at this at a beach, went back to her house, but they he didn't want to do anything, so he left. But later, the girl was found murdered. And so, he was accused of being a homosexual and a Satanist because he didn't stay with her, I guess. And it was extremely biased. And the time was sentenced to death, on death roll for an extremely long time before he was finally released. Because there was well-documented DNA evidence, but he was still condemned to death. Uh, there's also some issues with mentally ill people were condemned to the death penalty. Uh, it is considered against human rights to, or any bill of rights to murder someone with, like sentence somebody to death penalty with mentally illness, mental illness. But there are certain laws in certain states here in the United States, like in Arizona, where a person with mental illness, they will, oh, yeah. People with mental illness, they will be sentenced if they are convicted of having mental illness. They are sent to a mental hospital, and they will remain there for until they are considered mental ill enough to, mentally stable enough to be executed. And it's pretty damaging to the families, and they then have to pay the price for their deeds that they did when they're unstable. But why must we kill people to show that killing people is wrong? That's the main top point. To conclude, if a person is in for their life, they, they don't have a life anymore, so you don't need to take it from them. So it's not necessary anymore to kill them because they are already paying for their crimes.